Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, it looks like we are getting a new visa category in the form of an EEC visa. For those who are unaware, the Eastern Economic Corridor, as we've discussed many times on this channel, is sort of a newly formed initiative by the Thai authorities here to create this zone, if you will, kind of to attract, I, I hesitate to call it a free trade zone, but it's to attract more business, more economic activity in one specific area in Thailand. And I think what the thinking behind this is, is to in the long term, turn the Eastern Economic Corridor into sort of an entrepot of trade and investment within the region, if you will. And for those who are unaware, the Eastern Economic Zone is made up of Cha Chan Sao, Chonburi, and Rayong provinces, which does also include the incorporated municipality of Pattaya as well. And Lam Chabang Port is down in that area as well. That said, I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from Pattaya Mail. That's pattayamail.com. Article is titled, Thailand Expands the Range of 10-Year Visas Once Again. Quoting directly, the EEC visa duration is actually linked to the life of the holder's work permit and is considered an investment and investor type. There is obviously overlap with LTR, which, however, is not linked to certain provinces and is much broader covering wealthy retirees, digital nomads with contracts, and world travelers as well as executives. Yeah, we've discussed the long-term residence so-called visa as not to sound like a broken record, but bear in mind it is not an actual residence visa. It's not lawful permanent residence here in Thailand. It's just sort of a long stay type of visa. Quoting further, the benefits are similar, reduced income tax, avoidance of 90-day reporting and airport perks, but the EEC visa is specifically linked geographically to investment in high-tech industry, industries and sunrise initiatives such as robotics, petrochemical, healthcare, tourism, and biotechnology. Yeah, not unlike Thailand's Board of Investment, the EEC seems to be an initiative to bring in certain, certain, I hesitate to use the word coveted, but certain desirable industries, folks in desirable fields that Thai authorities view as a priority to bring into the country. And in many ways, you know, this, this is in line with how Thailand generally does these things. If you look at it historically, they like to bring in foreign expertise, learn from it, and then have the country benefit thereby. So it's interesting to watch this, but I think it's very good news for those who are looking to live and work here in the Kingdom of Thailand. 